I'm Brian Rent, the a, a environmental engineer from Marietta, Georgia, with Rent McDuff Associates, and I'm going to be running some tests today uh, to see how well we can treat uh, oil from oil spills. Um, there'll be two tests using an aquarium, five gallons of seawater, uh, with two different types of oil. The first type of oil uh, was taken from the Gulf. Uh, the second type is a mixture of two different crude oils plus some motor oil and some gasoline. Um, we'll see how well the product uh, which is um, FFC100 or FFT solution. Um, we actually used the concentrated version of this product in the tests. Um, also, we're going to spray some of the solution uh, in a liquid near some seagrass and uh, see how well it protects the seagrass from the oncoming oil movement. Thirdly, we've collected some tar balls from Orange Beach and we're going to see how well this product cleans those tar balls up. So our objective today with these Orange Beach, Alabama tar balls is to go from this to this. Hopefully we'll be able to do it. Fifty milliliters. Let's see what we got. See that sand down there? One more and let it settle. All right, we'll just let that sit. Started out as tar, tar balls. Now sand, look like this to begin with. Here's what it looks like when it gets dried. One time earlier with some straight crude that apparently was not crude, but uh, the very bottom ends, it, not some of it sank to the bottom, and uh, it's not soluble in oil or gasoline. Uh, so we've taken a mix here of some number six crude, a little bit of crude from the Gulf, some motor oil, and just a little bit of gasoline and we're going to see what it does. Now this reacts 
more like we expected it to. We have a, a floating layer on top. Got it. All right, we're going to add, that was 30 milliliters of oil, uh, mostly crude. Uh, and here's 50 milliliters uh, of the dispersant product. I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to vigorously mix it to begin with. And then it's got the gentle mixing from the the aquarium power head. So that's about 10 seconds. We'll give it a little time here. We'll probably see some um, small amounts floating to the top. Uh, we've seen that before, but obviously a majority of the oil is dispersed, as you can tell from the color and the opacity uh, of the seawater. Um, we, in previous trials, have been able to disperse all compounds, even the um, powdery looking material floating on top. It takes higher dosages and longer retention times. Maybe we'll give it 30 minutes and see what it looks like. But it, based on our experience, it's Still is going to have that floating stuff on the top. It may be uh, um, gathering together in little larger clumps. I'm going to try mixing that again. In our previous experiments, that would take a long time with the present motions that's going on. Let's see what that does. Please. Really mix it in there good. This this has been uh, about 20 minutes. All right, this material is a colloidal suspension. The oil uh, has been uh, broken down into very tiny particles that stay in Brownian motion. Um, they are colloids similar to what would be found in milk. Milk is a colloidal suspension. By breaking the uh, particles down and suspending them as in a, their colloidal size, which are very small, tiny particles, well, they're much more readily biodegraded by the naturally occurring bacteria.